the forehead of your robot. I thought it was going to be a normal day. I'm sure you are familiar with Hotel Mario, released in 1994. It's practically one of the most flopped games made for a console that is not Nintendo. The Philips CDI stands for Compact Disc Interactive, along with some Zelda games. It was panned by video game critics throughout the years, such as the angry video game nerd, like how the gameplay is a pain, the plots being confusing, and the limited animation in the cutscenes. If you have seen the cutscenes from those two Zelda CDI games from 1993, Link the Faces of Evil, and Zelda the Wand of Gamelon, they are done by the same animator, though the animation is not good at the time. You might recognize the CDI cutscenes from those old YouTube poop videos that were spawned on YouTube in the late 2000s, along with other media that were or were video game related, like the Super Mario TV shows, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, I am mean, SpongeBob SquarePants, Dr. Rabbit's World Tour, and so much you can imagine. Boy, those were the shit back in the day, but let's get on with the story. I was just dumping Hotel Mario's source files for future uses, possibly for phony YouTube poops, I guess. But then, I noticed something peculiar. One of the files dumped was a level, the 13th Hotel, which had a unique cutscene. I was so excited to test it, so I used my emulator to play it the quickest as possible. The cutscene began with what looked like the first intro to the game. Luigi was missing during this scene, leaving Mario on his own. I noticed that the sky and the clouds in the background were a dark shade of grey. Oddly enough, the music was, well, unnerving, to say the least. It's hard to tell because of the compressed quality, as if it sounded like a distorted piano playing slowly in reverse. As the music went on, it showed a shot where Bowser was hiding behind two mushrooms, except he isn't present. Instead, his right hand was still over one of the mushrooms, with blood seeping from the bottom. In his place, there was what looked like a huge stack of metal, covered in blood. What the hell did I just saw? After that, it cuts to the place where Mario and Luigi walk along the pathway, talking about the picnic. Although no one was there, not even Mario. That huge red mushroom which was supposed to be there was torn off, covered in blood, which scattered the grass. Mario reached the front door to the Mushroom Kingdom, with the wooded Club Cooper Resort sign being present. However, the board was blank, only huge claw marks and blood. The Mushroom Kingdom sign behind the board was also blank. Anyway, Mario didn't say anything as he picks up the letter. This is where things get really strange. It cuts to a close-up of Mario, reading the letter, just like in the original intro. Although his eyes were completely black, and he was in front of a space-like background. Mario was talking in some kind of demonic enchant, though I couldn't understand what he was saying. In the next shot, I was horrified. Mario, in his normal appearance, looked at Luigi, who was struck to death by an iron stack, bleeding, and Mario talked in what sounded like raw data screeches. It made me jump at such a loud noise. Mario kept looking at the impaled Luigi with an amused glare at the eyes for around 8 seconds. It cuts to the condemned board, seen from the Hotel 3 intro. But instead, two words were added to the sign, which said, You are condemned. Claw marks and a series of blood were scattered around the bricks and over the soil. It cuts to a frame of Mario holding the bread bag from the toaster's cutscene. He appeared faceless, his hat and shirt were colored white, and his overalls were black. The bread bag that once said, Bowser's Sourpuss Bread, was blank, and was colored an almost purplish shade of light blue. The background was a dark, disgusting and messy red, but I could've sworn I saw distorted faces staring into my soul. Two messages flashed quickly on the bread bag, the first one being, 13th Hotel, and the last being, Help Me. After that, it cuts to the princess waving over the pipe, also seen from the Hotel 3 intro, but with the dark grey sky being present in the background. The screen starts blinking, and lastly, the princess disappeared, and there was blood over the light blue pipe. Soon after, it showed a close-up of Mario, taken from the Hotel 2 intro, but with a negative red filter, talking indecipherable words in a demonic, whispery tone. Static was shown in the background behind Mario, but also colored a dark red. 
Then, Ludwig's ruined castle appeared, seen from the Hotel Six intro. The castle appeared to be abandoned, with mist around the place. Again, a close-up of Mario appeared, pointing up, just like in the final frame of the first intro. Instead, his eyes were black, just like in the beginning where Mario read the letter. The background was taken straight from the first frame of the Hotel 7 intro, with the sky being a dark shade of grey. For a short moment, red glowing pupils appeared in Mario's soulless black eyes, staring right at the viewer, while the background behind him distorts. Then, it showed Mario walking in, similar to the Warp Zone, Toasters, Biggest Fan and Ghost Cologne cutscene. The background is completely black, and it was dark, all what was there was the impaled Luigi from before. Mario stared at the corpse for a few seconds, and then, a close-up of Mario appeared, also taken from the toaster's cutscene. He was covered in blood, his right eye was hanging out of his socket while his left one bleeds, a knife was impaled to his chest, also had blood dripping from where he got stabbed, and he was in front of a sickly red background that is rippling like water. A demonic booming voice was heard as this image showed up, saying, Then lastly, the red static from before came up, accompanied by a sound of distorted white noise. After that, the game froze, and the emulator crashes. Good thing I have my screen recorder and filmed the entire thing, and also, what the fuck did I just watched? I shit you not, I just got a huge chill after watching that footage, and to be honest, I don't even know how it got there in the first place, while I was manipulating the game's source files. The file for the 13th hotel had disappeared without a trace, which left me questions in my brain unanswered. I uploaded the damning video to YouTube for anyone to see, but be warned, it's very disturbing and graphic.